Hi, this is Business with Dave. In this video, I'll be giving you 10 tips on running a market store business. So yeah, let's jump straight into it. So number one is presentation. So this is how your store looks. Does it look good? Does it look attractive? Can people tell what you're actually selling? One of the techniques in order to grab people's attention as well is to make sure your product is eye level. So this is where you create maybe shelves, containers, elevate your products upwards so people can see it and hopefully get engaged and hopefully even if customers have a look at you and they walk around, hopefully they'll remember what you sell and hopefully they will come back afterwards and check, your, check out your store. So number two is stand up and smile. Don't be sitting, slouch, disinterested. That won't grab people's attention. You wanna be up, smiley, are you approachable? Can you talk to people and hopefully grab their attention? And that's how you wanna be able to represent your business. Upwards, smiling, make sure you're oozing with positive, positive energy and get people engaged, get people excited about your product. Show people that you are the face of your brand and you are out there and you are presenting this and hopefully people like it and then that will equal to sales and good customer service as well. Some people forget a smile can really create a good first impression and that's exactly what you need, especially when you're in a market store environment where it's just so competitive. So number three is break the ice. So this is when you start off a conversation, you say, hello, how are you? Uh, how's your day? If they look a bit lost or confused, you can say, is there anything I can help with? And this is where you share your knowledge. This is where you engage your customers and let them feel comfortable around you and what you're selling and hopefully you can build trust and hopefully people like you because ultimately people buy from people that they like. So hopefully you could show them who you are and what your product is all about. So number four is to talk up your brand. So this is where you share your story. This is where you tell your customers why you started this business how or when did you start this business and just honestly just share your knowledge and educate your customers about your products and how proud you are of making something that hopefully people will buy and maybe has given people joy before and you can share that with new customers and just stuff like that where you just build that communication and your brand essentially as well. So number five is clear pricing so you want to make sure your pricing is nice eye-catching, people know what it is, at what price, and that if there is no price, that they are not scared away because the worst thing you wanna be doing is engaging with customers for 10, 15 minutes, and then they, you tell them the price and then they get scared off because then it's like, Jesus Christ, how much is that? You wanna avoid that, make sure it's nice, clear, and simple. People know what your pricing is and what you're selling, and hopefully you'll be able to engage in that and hopefully make a sale out of it. So number six is packaging. So you wanna create that lasting impression, that good lasting impression about your product, your service, and ultimately how that customer is gonna take home that product in particular. Because it is, should be the representation of your business in a sense, and having your logo, having nicely packaged wrapping and stuff like that will elevate your brand higher and that's what you want to try to do because you want to give that value for customers to look out and hopefully tell their friends and family about you. So number seven is payment options. So obviously nowadays there's a lot more card transactions so you want to make sure you have a card reader just for the contactless cards. But of course, when there's cash as well, you want to make sure you have enough uh, flow money and change so then you don't have to go around asking for change around the different stores because that's the last thing you want to do. Waste of time, you want to lose a potential customer so just make sure you have extra, extra amount of change just so you're prepared. So number eight is having a pen and notepad in hand. So this is where you record stocks. So if you have amount of stocks that you're there, you want to have a record of it and then how much you sell. Nice, easy. Uh, if you have a price change, you could always put a new price up, so a special offer or end of day offer, you could always write a note down. And also potentially, if people want a receipt, you could also write up a receipt for them as well because sometimes people keep a record of it. So this is a nice way to make sure your customer gets a receipt as well. So number nine is your contact details. So this is where you have your social media, your website, your business cards, your email, just stuff like that where if people like your product, they want to be able to follow you and your business and that's how they do it. 
if they have questions, if they have big orders, if they have uh, custom made products that they need to be able to contact you for, that's a great way for them to contact you because then you could be able to communicate to them and hopefully that engagement carries on your building relationships and hopefully for the months and years to come as well. And lastly number 10 is a helping hand. So this is where you have your friend or your family member come in to help you either move stuff or help you set up your store, hopefully potentially tidy up as well and hopefully keep you company during the day as well because ultimately it's a bit boring if you're doing it by yourself but if you have a friend to keep you company they could help with the cash or they could help talk to customers and hopefully help you sell as well. Particularly if you want to go out to get, grab something to eat or pop to the loo, having someone you trust there is quite reassuring and there's less pressure for you to be everywhere. And honestly, it's so much fun when you have someone to talk to as well and it's a bit more enjoyable. Obviously you have your other store members to talk to but having your friend there is pretty cool. And particularly if you are winding down on your day as well, it's so quick to tidy with two people other than one. So. You could be out there in no time too. Thanks for watching this video guys. Hopefully you found this video useful. If you did, like this video and consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any questions, leave it in the comments below. We'd love to read those. And yeah, I'll see you next video. See ya.